What's up guys? It's your girl Danny Max back with another video and if you're new to the fam, welcome. Please join me. So um, today I'm going to be doing a video that was actually requested which is my skincare routine and I think it's just so funny how this was a requested video because I never had like the clearest skin growing up like in middle school it was it was a process honestly but i've gotten to a place where i actually think that my skin is doing well and i'd love to share what i've done to get to where i'm at today so first off one of the gems of my skincare routine is a spin brush i honestly don't use the spin brush right now regularly but when i was first getting into clearing up my skin that was the holy grail for me like I think I got one at like Marshalls. You could get it at Walmart on Amazon. Yeah, so I used the spin brush with um, my face wash, which right now is this Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. And as you can see, it's down to the bottom. That's how much I use it because it's actually really good. Like I didn't really see results at first using it with just my finger so i kind of gave up on it and tried out some other products but then once i got my spin brush i was like okay this is the game changer like this like the spin brush with this product a1 so this is like my little bathroom caddy and it has most of my faves in it um i'm just gonna probably go through and show you step by step what i do I have a different skincare routine for the morning versus at night, so I'm just gonna go through both of those routines in this video. Since my skin is doing pretty well and I don't use the spin brush as much anymore because it's kind of an abrasive treatment, like it's really to get all that crud out of your face, like dead skin, oils, and all that stuff. But once you don't have as much blemishes on your face, it kind of dries your face out, I would say, in my opinion. So I just don't use the spin brush as often now. So I'm just going to use my face wash with my fingers and that will be step one of my morning routine. So step number two in my routine is to use a toner and I currently have this one which is also Neutrogena and it's alcohol free toner and then I just use a cotton pad pour it right on top and then I use this all over my face and neck area. So the last step of my morning routine is to use this moisturizer. Usually, or not usually, but I did try out using a sunscreen because I heard that putting sunscreen on your face every day is a helpful way to make sure that the sun rays don't like give you wrinkles or stuff like that. Right now I'm out of sunscreen, so I've just been using moisturizer. And this is the Clean and Clear Dual Moisture Dual Action Moisturizer, and it has salicylic ac acid acne medicine included in it. So what I do is I just take some dots, put it all over my face, and then rub it in. So 
So as you can see, my skin is far from perfect. Like I still have visible pores. You can see dark marks, acne scarring, new pimples coming out. But overall the texture is pretty good, I would say. My face was definitely more texturized when I was younger. Okay, so for my night routine, I'm just gonna show you the difference between my morning and night routine, but I'm not actually gonna perform it. So I still wash my face with the Neutrogena um, oil-free acne wash. That's my step one. My step two is still toner, but then it changes with my step three because I have this oil that I got off of Amazon and it's like really good and it smells really good too. It's rose hip oil. And yeah, it just has like this dropper that you squeeze. And I have a few other oil options because I ran out of this one time and I just stopped by the store and got some of this vitamin C serum. And then I also found this, which is rose hip, rose hip plus vitamin C. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, these oils, they're okay. This one's pretty thick and this one's pretty like, um, what's it called? What's the opposite of thick? <laughs> Not thin, but like, you know. It's not, like the consistency is lighter, okay? So this one also has like a lighter consistency, but it's definitely my number one. And then if I had to number the other ones, it would probably be the pink bottle, which was the rose hip plus vitamin C. And then third would be the vitamin C. So I would use that instead of my moisturizer after I put my toner on and then I use this. I have a few versions of it. It's the Queen and Clear um, Maximum Strength Sicilic Acid Acne Medicine. Well, this one is actually ben benzoyl peroxide, but um, I like this one more. It's the Sicilic Acid one. And I like it more because it has like this nozzle tip on it that you could squeeze and just apply it to blemishes. And that's what I would do if I had a pimple and I wanted it to go down while I was sleeping. Like I would just squeeze it like right on top of the pimple. And yeah, this one, it just comes out in like a, I don't know if you can see that. It just comes out of this little hole so the application isn't as good and overall i would just say that this one works really like fast like this one works okay but i think this one is like fast working okay this is not part of my everyday routine but i also have this uh face mask and it's like deep cleansing charcoal mask i put this on whenever i feel like my skin just deserves some extra attention, some extra love, you know. So yeah, my routine, it's pretty simple. It's just three steps. The nighttime, it could be four steps if I have pimples that really need to be taken care of. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty easy, I would say. Hope you got some like value out of my routine and that you can apply something to your own routine. Maybe learn something new. But anyways, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will give this video a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, whole shebang. I'll see you in the next one.